Oh, sh**. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Wow. Hi, welcome back. I have the controller now. Feel free to dubstep that awesome remix we just did. <laughs> well, not remix. Well, yes, it is. I don't fucking know. That's not a remix. It's like a... Awesome beatbox, whatever the fuck it is. OST. OST. Original official soundtrack. soundtrack. <laughs> is um, it official soundtrack? I always thought it was original. What? One or the other, I don't know. It Same could diff, I guess. Oh, but it, it did. What the fuck? See? That's no, so that annoying. was bullshit, though. I God. Tried. That one, I was above it, and it, yeah, that was dumb. This is why Spyro 2 is. The vastly superior game. The vastly superior game, so. Next stupid Nork. Um. Oh, yeah, j just to finish very quickly what I was talking about last episode, I, I feel like the, the adults in South Park yeah. are very easily manipulated by the media and news. Yeah. Because you know how, like, the kids are always smarter because I mean, the that's, parents that's are kind like, of the joke. Yeah, because they're fucking yeah. idiots. Yeah. They just believe well, everything. Matt and Trey... Matt... Matt... Uh, I Matt and Trey last. Parker? Well, Matt Stone, Trey Parker? Tr Stone, that's his name. Yeah, uh, I believe that they most identify with, like, libertarian views. So really? They're, I wouldn't say they're part of, like, one of the two mainstream groups. Mm. Democrat, Republican, right? Hello, Zeke. Thank you for releasing me. So I think they just take everything with a grain of salt. You really? Know? That's all you got for me. Haters. Did you see he had like a pig snout? What kinda? the fucking shit is this party? Hey, Pumba. Okay. So they're more on the libertarian side? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Huh. Okay. Individual freedoms and... So not really like... People are dumb. Not really one or the other. They're kind of just more like... Huh. Oh, is it, actually that reminds me of something. Did you see... Okay, you probably saw this at the Game Awards. Yeah. That guy who won the award for best... Uh, the furry? Best at fighting game. Yeah, yeah. the guy who dri Yeah, the furry dude. What was his yeah. name? I don't remember his name. Sonic Fox? Yeah, Lane Sonic Fox, Fox or something. I believe, I believe his name is Sonic Fox. He's I, very famous in the fighting community. Okay, yeah. Um, my friends really like fighting games. I, I saw the thumbnail of him dressed up, and I was like, huh, I wonder what this is at the Game Awards. So I click on it, and I see that he won the award. I'm like, oh, that's cool. He won an award. Going on stage with this furry suit. <laughs> but that's not the point. Um... The, I, oh I, my god! What I, the I, fuck? I scroll down and I see that the like to dislike thing is very half and half. I'm like, uh oh. Really? And I was like, yeah, it was like 3,000 likes and 3.2 thousand dislikes. Why do people fucking care? Well, let's see. Here's the thing. I, at first, I was like, oh, people are just disliking it because he's wearing a fur suit. Well, mm -hmm. what the fuck ever, dude. I, I, I continue to watch it. I scroll down through the comments and I'm like, uh oh. Hmm. Here's why. Uh, he's near the end. He says, "Oh yeah, so uh, I'm, I'm black, gay, and I'm a furry. So basically, everything a Republican hates." Anyways, thank you. Bye. Oh, that was a joke. <laughs> That's funny. really like. Oh, you missed the gems, by the way. So people were mad about that. It's whenever you bring up anything, whenever you diss oh, for any sure. political people just, side. People take their political identity to their personal identity. So whenever you say like, for example, arbitrary choice here, just because you said Republican. Oh, there's I'm, more gems you missed. I'm gonna choose Republican. I did. Yeah, to I mean, the right. We don't really need all. To the right. More. Everything you own in the box to okay. the right. I can't see them I'm very well because it's red on green right here. Oh, okay. Um, There's still more you missed, but whatever. Whatever. <laughs> We're not trying to go for all of them. But yeah, no, so I saw that, and I'm like, huh, I wonder why he did add that. I mean, I know it's just a joke. Oh, it's just like, a fucking hmm. joke. I'm sure, like, it, he was very nervous on stage. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Understandably, because he was yeah, in front dude. of, like, thousands of people accepting the award, and he, you could tell he was, like, about to cry because he was so happy. Sure. At least I think he was. Like, happy. I get it. Like, the joke is rude, and it's not that appropriate but it's it was obviously a joke yeah of like course. uh i don't know if you can't take it like you should probably reevaluate your coping skills <laughs> yeah it's i it, it's definitely but yeah like it's the, not like somebody it's not like he like he's paused what he's doing he looked at the crowd he looked at the guy in the third row fourth seat and he's like you, sir, you are a Republican, and you don't like me because of these things. Because you, Charlie, are a fucking bigoted racist asshole. It's not like he did that. He was just like, haha, here's a generalized goofy-ass statement. And people are like, Triggered! Well, you know, when you mention a 
group of people and stereotype them like that, it's only natural people get upset. Fuck. So I, I get why the dislike bar happened, but I don't know if I would be as mad if I were a Republican person. But whatevs. I, I just thought it was an interesting thing that happened at the awards. I'm sure, like, right when it happened, there was probably just an air of, like, mixed feelings in that audience that happened. There were people who were like, Ugh, people who were like, uh -huh. and yeah. some people were like, Ugh, cringe. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. I myself have never received an award and done anything like that before, so. Yeah. Yeah. I've never been in front of a stage that big. Did you, did, so did you watch the entire Game Awards? Um, I came in a little bit after it started, so not right uh, okay. off the bat. Hmm. So I think to break those, you have to use a super speedy boy. Super speedy boy. You know when you go down a hill and it makes you go fast? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But I don't see one. Super speedy boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's Elliot talk for speed pad that makes you run fast. Yep. <laughs> oh, super electrical. But anyway. These nuts! What the hell? That was weird. Was he playing that thing like a guitar? Yeah. Alright. Is this the final level? I think so. Unless we missed one. Which is possible. I feel like we might need to hit pot. Because we missed. Uh, we, we need to go back at some yeah, point and that. do the first boss. Just to trying to get all the dragons. Yeah. I'd like to see it at least. Sure. And then, yeah, there was one dragon that we missed in the town square level. Hot dog. Yeah. Pew! Spyro turned very political there. <laughs> and, I even, and I even made the comment. I was like, everything's so politicized now. And we're, we're not helping right now. But whatever. <laughs> ah, but as I don't fucking make everything into a, oh my god. Like. Whoa. Yeah. Hello, orangutans. <laughs> Friggin' King Louie over here. Yeah. Um. I like orangutans. Do you? I like bangatangs. I wanna walk like you, talk like you, too. Hey, hey baby. baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Alright. They have a lot of character variation. In this game? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say they do. Like a lot of one-off characters, you know? Yeah, and like, like Mario where it's... Well, I mean, I'd say recent Mario games have gotten better at... Oh, for sure. ...having more enemies. Whoa. Oh, sick. Spooky. Oh, you know what's funny? What? The... Okay, oh! this... I, I hate myself. Be, because it's obvious... This <laughs> obviously didn't influence it, but the fact that this level's called Metalhead, it reminds me of the Metalheads from Jack and Daxter. Oh. Remember Jack 2 and Jack 3? I don't remember Metalheads in those. I remember the games, but I didn't really play them that much. The I just kind of free roamed. The the enemies were um, yeah in the second and third game. Aren't they remaking those? Uh no they're they're uh they ported them HD to the PS4. The, wait that's out? I think it's out. What? Hmm. And I haven't bought them? Here I, I'm gonna look that up right now. What? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you for real dog? Yeah let me find out. Let's see. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, I gotta say, these last two episodes are probably two of the most political <laughs> Royal Cubes episodes eh, ever. <laughs> whatever, man. It's what's on our minds. Oh shit. That, that's one of the most important things for me on this show. Um, what, just talking about what's on your mind? Well, just just being real, you know? Oh, for sure. I don't want to be like... We like, can't... okay, this is not a criticism. But since, uh, since we're just talking about more serious shit, here's uh, just some interesting stuff I want to talk about, I guess. One of the streamers I like, and who is the most popular streamer right now, is a uh, guy named Ninja, right? Uh-huh. Uh, he plays Fortnite. He's pretty entertaining. Um, no hate to the dude at all. Uh, but when he became very, very popular... So he used to be, like, kind of crazy and, like, say stuff like, fuck this, fuck that. Very you know, honest. Scream. Well, just himself, right? One sec. Metalhead is all charged up to meet you. They all have eyeballs. Attacking the power pole should disrupt his power supply. Okay. Oh, thank you. Boss. Whoa, cool. Oh, snap, right here. Um. Damn. So if they're red, are they going to shock me? What What did he say? Something about his spine. I didn't fucking read or listen. This is why we need subtitles. Maybe I have to um do something with these. Yeah, oh, oh maybe they all have to be green. Am I making them green? I don't know. What the shit? Hmm. -mm. Maybe they all have to be red? Ow! Fucker. Oh, he broke one. <laughs> um, Anyways, what were you gonna say? Oh, yeah. Um, but when he became very famous, like extremely famous, he made himself more family friendly. Which is, I don't have any problems with that at all. Like, if that's what you want to do to make more money, which makes sense, 
Like, mm -hmm. it's a good business move. Then I, I'm not even saying I wouldn't do that myself. Like, who knows? I like to think I wouldn't do that, but I feel like it would make streaming less enjoyable and harder. You know what I mean? Having to, like, restrict yourself in some yeah, ways. Yeah, like, he, now he's just like, oh, darn it. Oh, gosh darn goof and bloober. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, we, we, you and I, we have to restrict ourselves somewhat with yeah, some, some words, not but a I mean, ton. but not like to that degree. No. Mm -hmm. just oh, shit. Be, oh, man. Just because we know we won't offend each other. Like, we're just joking, but people, um, I don't know. Well, it's, I mean, I'm a sensitive crybaby man child. Everything offends me. So, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> you know what's also crazy? Mm -hmm. uh, since we're just talking about this shit, fuck it. Um, so, you know, the Academy Awards. Have Kevin Hart was chosen to be the speaker, the host. Right? Oh, oh, in a couple of months. Yep. Oh, sweet. He had to step down because somebody dug up his tweets from over ten years ago. He made an insensitive joke. Oh, just like, no. Uh, like I don't even fucking care if this opens a can of worms that much. I'm just talking about it. I'm not taking a side here. He made um some gay joke basically about oh, like okay. if his kid was gay, uh, like he'd be upset or something but it was obviously a joke whatever it was insensitive he apologized for it but like I, I don't know at that time in 2010 like people were less sensitive you know mm, um yeah the nature and he's a fucking comedian like you sometimes just have to put yourself out there sometimes you do make insensitive jokes and shit like i get that like the joke is very like again not not great. I'm trying to dodge a bullet here. I don't want to <laughs> piss people off. But at the Tread end of the day, lightly, my it was just a joke, right? In, uh -huh. in poor taste, basically. Okay? He apologized for it, and he, he had to step down uh, because people dug up his tweets from over 10 years ago, and they're like, look at what you did 10 years ago when this was more acceptable as a comedy topic. Wait, so he, he stepped down himself voluntarily? He, Sort of. They said, unless you give an official apology, you're not welcome. He said, fuck that. It's a joke. I meant, like, I'm done apologizing for this shit. No. What? I don't know. That's okay, it? I guess. That's not, No, not the Kevin no, Hart I know, thing. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> oh, these bosses, man. Let's yep. hope the sequel improves on. Uh, anyways. So, so he, he basically was apologize? extremely, at first, he, he eventually did. He's like, I'm really sorry, blah, blah, blah. I'm a comedian. I make jokes. It was a different time period. Like, I, if you fail to uh, think that people change as human beings, then, like, you're wrong, you know? Because people uh, change. It's like, time goes on. Like, now he probably knows, like, that joke is not okay to make. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah, um, yeah. Well, I mean, I would argue any joke is okay to make. I don't share that belief that it's not an okay joke to make. But, not, I don't fucking know, man. People just freak the fuck out. It was just an insensitive joke. Well, that's, that, that kind of reminds me of what happened with James Gunn. Did you hear about that? No. James Gunn, I don't he, know who that is. he's the writer and director of the Guardians of the Galaxy Oh, movies. yep, 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 yep. Yep, same thing, man. No, that shit is happening all the time. People are just, let's ruin this person's career because 10 years ago, when it was more, like, less taboo to say something like this, they said some shit. And now, fuck them. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's like, uh. fuck, dude. That, like, he's learned and he's changed from that. Like, if. If you're talking about being compassionate to people who you think are, you know, uh, like, for example, gay people, like, they they face hard lives because people are fucking bigoted and treat them unfairly, right? Uh -huh. But if you think that, like, you don't want to be bigoted and you want to give people, you know, uh, second chances, that should also apply to people who've maybe, like, said hateful things in the past and are like, wow, that was really fucked up of me. I'm changing. I don't want to be a hateful person anymore, you know? Mm -hmm. Like... That should be a good example, but no, instead they're like, fuck you, we're ruining your career. So he had to step down. It's stupid. Well, that's three super political episodes of Royal Gives in a Row. Suck my ass, bitch. Yay! Bye, guys.